likewise closer to home on our schoolboys sporting fields as they continue to wind down what has been a great season of rugby across the country. Let's take a look at some of the biggest results coming from our final weekend up north. It was Ierhia Janssen who came out on top in their match against Menlo Park, whilst Monument were menacing for HDS Middleburg, winning that encounter by 25 points to 5. Glenwood claimed the bragging rights in the final match down in KZN. That was when they defeated Maritzburg College by 21 points to 20. Then you got Selborne College ruining the Dale party when they defeated their host 2011 on Saturday. That's one for the books. Whilst Hudson Park narrowly lost their match up against Grenz. The Bishops, they won their Triple Crown match against Sachs 26-12 in a thrilling encounter, whilst Paul Chum destroyed Rondebosch boys thanks to a 57-24 victory that was away from home. Then it was another encounter for the books again in Pretoria as Pretoria boys high lost out in what was a very exciting Twane Dobie against their bitter rivals Uffies. Five first half tries at 3-2 apiece would see the hosts enter the halftime break 17-12 in the lead. But a yellow card in the 40th minute meant that Pretoria boys were down to 14 men and Uffie certainly capitalised, scoring two, uh, two tries with their one-man advantage. And the Vitbola pulled away from their rivals and secured the win. Not even a late a flurry from the visitors would be enough as Uffies walked away 34-26 victors on the day. Thank you again to all of our schoolboys for providing such scintillating rugby. Now, turning to karate, we have seen South African champions make a name for themselves across the globe, and this is no different. We're about to meet a young karate coach who's only got a brown belt at the stage. She's been training for five years, but she has announced her name on the world scene.